Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to look into how you can pass dynamic values into a variable. So this can be used in a lot of ways. And over to here, just for a demonstration purpose, uh, I am going to add a text and image. Where I'll just say value and everything, and inside a value, I'm going to add a just a static measure for now. Bold, I'll just change the font size and everything so it will be visible for everybody. Okay, now I'll start by creating a variable. So here I'm going to create a dynamic variable, or I can just say in most precise way parameterized variable how you can create that and how it will be beneficial go into variables create new over to here write your variable name so i'll just say v dynamic okay like this and i am just going to add in some values like i will just say dollar one okay so this means parameter one and i will say dollar two this is parameter two okay and i will just say add i will copy the name create as you can see dollar one plus two is here and now over here i will add dollar i will call that uh, variable here in the basic way now i will add a c bracket open close and i will add the parameter let's say i want to add 3 comma the second parameter phi so over to here you will get a value as you can see over here it says okay 3 plus 5 okay when I apply, I get it. In the similar fashion, I if I just change the value from uh, three to ten, then I have ten plus five, which will give me this value. So in this way, you can use it in a in a lot dynamic way also. So you can specify some condition, and then you can say that the value should be given as is. For example, you can even pass some string values. In the same uh, expression, I'm just going to write a nested if, okay, a static nested if. So static nested if will be if my dollar one is equal to I will say a, then give me ajay, okay. If my dollar one is equal to b give me let's say uh, Vinod if it is C then you give me let's say uh, Adi else you give me N A okay this is the basic expression I will apply this Okay, it's now given me NA. Now, if I change, now let's change this and start giving it a number, uh, a value. Let's say I'll say A. Now, the condition is A is equal to A, A is equal to B, like that. As you can see, now it's given me Ajay. Now, let's change it to C. Okay enter i get adi okay so in this way you can try to create your dynamic expression also and you can uh, add the measure value to it and you can just using if you can you can uh, actually play around with it so this is a simpler way uh, of i can portray a parameterized variable a simple method of addition then a simple method uh, where a simple logic that I have created using if and value checking you can always 
I personally suggest you to use pick match or pick wild match to do this activity also. So this will actually work for you if you are using pick match also. So for optimization purpose, we can do a simple pick match over to here. For example, I can just say pick. match dollar one i will just write in my names okay this is n a this is adi this is vinod and this is ajay over to here i will just add in a b and c a b c so this is an optimization path uh, uh, optimization prospect okay as you can see it's coming Adi when I just change to A it's changing to Ajay so as you can see in pick match it is telling me if match is Ajay then you give me this so it's a simple optimization process that you can actually follow uh, instead of if instead if you should always use pick match or pick wild match either way as per your uh, use case and this will help in optimization also.